I'm Madalena, a software developer at ProGeneric. Our Parallel Template Library, or PTL, for .NET and Java contains many powerful and easy-to-use parallel functions that take advantage of multi-core processors. In this video, we'll compare the performance of PTL's matrix operations to other popular Java matrix libraries. We'll use a system with two Intel Xeon 6-core processors for a total of 12 physical cores or 24 logical cores with hyperthreading. After some research, we decided to use the following Java matrix libraries. Since PTL is pure Java, we are only comparing with libraries that are also written completely in Java. We'll discuss each one in more detail as we go. For our comparison, we'll multiply two dense matrices. Matrix A has 5,000 rows and 4,000 columns, and matrix B has 4,000 rows and 5,000 columns. Both matrices A and B are filled with a pattern which makes it easier to verify the results. Each element in a row is filled with the row number as shown. Before we begin, let's estimate the maximum number of operations for a single core by running an empty for loop 1 billion times. This empty loop contains two operations, an increment and a comparison. Let's run it. The maximum speed per core is around 2.35 billion calculations per second, which is in line with our expectations since our CPU clock frequency is 2.4 GHz. We'll start our comparison with Linear Algebra for Java, or LA4J. LA4J is a single-threaded open-source library that provides linear algebra primitives and algorithms and supports both dense and sparse matrices. Let's run our multiplication test using LA4J. In the results section on the right, you can view the time and current speed measured in rows per second and also calculations per second. We'll fast forward to when the LA4J solution finished. It took 50 minutes and its average speed was around 66 million calculations per second. Since LA4J gives the slowest performance of the libraries we have chosen, it will be used as the baseline for the rest of the demo. We can quickly verify result matrix C based on the fill pattern we use for matrices A and B. All elements in matrix C are correct. Next, we use the Efficient Java Matrix Library, or EJML. EJML is a single-threaded, open-source, linear algebra library for manipulating dense matrices. Let's run our test using EJML's multiply method. We'll fast forward to when the EJML solution finished. It took two and a half minutes and its average speed was around 1.265 billion calculations per second, which is 19 times faster than the LA4J solution. We'll quickly verify that result matrix C is correct. Next we'll use Parallel Colt, which is a multi-threaded version of the Colt project. Colt provides a set of open source libraries for high performance scientific and technical computing in Java. Parallel Colt uses threads automatically when multiple CPUs are available and provides support for both dense and sparse matrices. Let's run our multiplication test using Parallel Colt. We'll fast forward to the result again. The parallel Colt solution took two and a half minutes and had an average speed of around 1.369 billion calculations per second, which is 20.4 times faster than the LA4J solution. Although parallel Colt utilized our multiple CPUs, its performance is only slightly better than EJML for the matrices we are using. We'll verify again that result matrix C is correct. Now we'll use ProGeneric's Parallel Template Library, or PTL. PTL's matrix opera class provides both sequential and parallel methods for operations such as multiply. To use the parallel version and take advantage of PTL's innovative load balancing techniques for multiple CPUs, we simply use the pmultiply method. 
its parameters and usage are exactly the same as its sequential multiply counterpart. Let's run the PTL parallel solution. The PTL parallel solution finished in only 9 seconds and had an average speed of 22.219 billion calculations per second, which is 312.5 times faster than the LA4J baseline. We'll verify again that result matrix C is correct. PTL offers limited matrix functionality compared with these other Java libraries, but its performance is excellent. It's also important to note that EJML and Parallel Colt explicitly flatten a 2D array representation of a matrix into an equivalent 1D array for performance reasons, but this limits these libraries for very large matrices due to Java memory limitations. PTL does not use this flattened array representation, which allows it to work with larger matrices than these libraries. We are planning to add more matrix operations to PTL, so please let us know in the video comments or by email what other functionality you'd like to see. Please also let us know if there are other libraries that you would like us to compare to PTL. PTL's matrix operations are only a very small part of the library. It also offers many more containers and algorithms with excellent parallel performance. You can read more about PTL's features and view its complete documentation under the product section of our website. Thanks for watching.